Yo, we are back. Thank you again for tuning in to Mr. Donuts' Awesome Math Network. Before we get started, I want to let you know that today I got my mic working. Apparently, when you hit the on switch, it works. So, who knew? Today's lesson is brought to you by the Air Jordan 13 Flint. These are from 2010. They are fire. I got them because they came out of high school and I didn't have bread like that. I still don't, but now I got them. So your boy is fly. Got the little hologram right there. Stupid fire. I'm gonna leave those right there. Today's uh, special edition, uh, we got a question from a fourth grade parent asking us here at the Mr. Donut's Awesome Math Network if we can lend a little of our math expertise to helping out. And I said, listen, my expertise is your expertise. We all get there together. Together tease. All right, so let's take out our pen and let's read this question. Okay, a piece of purple rope is five and two thirds yards long. A piece of yellow rope is five times as long as the purple yarn. Emma tied them both together with a knot that used one third yard from each piece of yarn. <laughs> rope, let's fix that little typo right there. That means we were reading actually, rope, okay. What is the total length of the yarn, otra vez, of the rope tied together? Yeah, layers to this. Layers, layers, layers. Let's highlight some key information, right? Let's highlight our numbers. I always start by highlighting numbers. I don't know if I'm gonna have to use all of them, but it's math, and math kinda comes down to numbers. So let's highlight this five and two thirds. It's five, and this one third, okay? Where did this sticker come from? Cool. So we know that the purple rope, right? Let's say the purple rope is five and two thirds yards long. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. So the purple rope is five and two thirds yards long. That's the purple rope, right? I know that the yellow piece of rope is five times as long as the purple yarn, five times. Five times, five times, five times, five times. When I hear that word times, when you when you hear that word times, what does that trigger in your mind? What math operation or math relationship does that come, like what pops in your head? Well, if you said multiplication, you're right. So we're gonna put that the yellow, right? Now, you can't have something that's five times long. You have to be able to multiply it to something. And what the question tells us is the yellow is five times as long as the purple yarn. So what I'm going to write here is I'm going to put five times. Now, I'm going to write that as five and two thirds times five. Okay. And then last but not least, I know that uh, Emma's trying to tie them together. And that word together comes up here, which I'm, I'm gonna ask you guys again, when you hear the word together, what kind of springs into mind from a math operational process standpoint? If you're thinking addition, you're probably correct. We don't know yet, but most of the time, putting stuff together is, is, a, is addition. Now, the first thing we need to do is find out how long the yellow rope is. So I'm gonna open up another yards long. Twenty-eight and one thirds. Cool. So we know how long the purple rope is and we know how long the yellow rope is. We're not done. Emma decides to tie these together. Now it may seem that when okay we're gonna put the ropes together um, we have this one third. Well, what is this one third uh, suggesting? Well, let's say you have your piece of purple rope. And you have your piece of yellow rope. Unless I was able to put these together right at the tips, right? I cannot just simply add the five and two thirds and the 28 and one third. Whenever you're tying a knot, there is going to be some some piece of the rope uh, length that is lost. So let's say I just tied a basic bunny rope. Now, mind you, I'm doing this 
as a visual representation of what's going on. I don't know the exact measurements. I don't know how long the yellow and the purple are well, based on what this is, uh, question is asking us. When you tie the knot, and let's just say I did a, even if I did a, a simple bunny ears, right? Let's tie this. I can do math, but I can't tie shoelaces. Slip-ons, folks. There is all of this rope that is not being included in the overall length, right? It's being lost. So if we go back to that question or that, that idea of Emma tied them both together for not that used. That's a word we didn't highlight. When you use something up, does it increase or does it decrease? I mean, let's think about this situation. In this situation, the fact that the rope is being used goes back to that knot. Let's tie that knot again, right? Let's tie that knot. Look at all this extra rope that's being lost in the string, in, in this da dangling piece of rope, in, in the in the bows, right? So because they're being used, what we have to do is, yes, we can add the 28. Sorry about that. The 28, well, 5 and 2 thirds. And we have the 28 and 1 third. But each piece of rope, when it gets tied in a knot, is losing or is using a third. So because of that, before we do any addition, because of that word together, we have to understand, again, we have to understand the lost rope tells us we have to subtract. So we're going to subtract one third from each piece of rope, which leaves the purple rope at five and one third and the yellow rope at 28 even and if we add those together thankfully we can add them pretty straightforward 5 plus 28 is 33 and one third and that's our final response okay so let's take a look at that again right you had your purple yarn your purple rope, which is five and two thirds. We had our yellow rope, which is five times as long. We determined the two lengths. We tied them together, understanding that a third of each piece of rope was being lost or, or no longer being uh, attributed to the overall length. And in this case, one third was being lost from each piece. So we subtracted and we got a final answer of 33 and one third. So all my fourth grade parents out there, um, you know, it's difficult times. I would say that it is important to know how to convert our fractions and some videos will be coming up very soon regarding that. With a question like this, um, I don't want anyone to get mad at me, but I would not be mad or I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it'd be cheating if the child was using a calculator, especially to check their work. Um, we did a lot of math here. A lot of converting, a lot of multiple steps. I think one of the most important things to understand is how do we break down a question to know what we need to do through every single part, all right? Uh, I'll be posting a video soon on how to break down word problems a little more in-depthly, but that's how we would answer this question, okay? Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if, uh, suggestions, if you thought maybe I did something incorrect, if you think I'm wrong, go ahead and jump in and, and leave me an email in the comments. All kosher, all nice, because I missed the nice. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, shout out to 705, 706, 707, all my MS363 people. I miss you guys. I love you guys. Uh, stay golden, San Diego. I guess I should stop filming, right? I'm not kind of done. Where's the other shoe?